So, how do psychedelics work? Technically, all classical psychedelics work by antagonizing or stimulating serotonin receptors in our brains. Now, there are 15 different kinds of serotonin receptors in our brains. Psilocybin works specifically by stimulating the 5-HT2A serotonin receptors. Chemical interactions in the brain are extremely difficult to visualize, but this is a computer illustration of the psilocybin molecule being accepted by the 5-HT2A receptor. When the psychedelic molecule is accepted by the 5-HT2A serotonin receptor, we see many things happen in the brain. Perhaps most importantly, we see a rapid increase in activity all over. But we also see a marked decrease in activity in the default mode network. So how and why do classical psychedelics agitate serotonin receptors? Well, this is because the classical psychedelics closely resemble serotonin. You can think of them as doppelgangers. So here on the left, we can see the similarities between the serotonin molecule and the DMT, psilocin, and psilocybin molecules. Now, some contend that this similarity might just be a total random accident. Others say that we may have actually evolved to accept psychedelics. Others say that this coincidence is the work of God. The 5-HT2A receptors are found in large numbers in the cortex, the outermost and evolutionarily most recent layer of the brain. The neuroscience here gets pretty complicated, but any agitation of the 5-HT2A receptor has been found to decrease activity in the default mode network. Therefore, Taking any classical psychedelic will also, in turn, decrease activity in the default mode network. So, what is the default mode network, and how does this relate to the psychedelic experience? Although an older model of the brain focused on individual sections of the brain, more modern psychology and neuroscience focuses on networks in the brain and the way that regions pass information to one another. Now, the default mode network, or DMN, was only recently discovered in 2001. It's been described as the CEO, or the orchestra conductor of the brain, because other networks of the brain communicate via the default mode network. But what does a decrease in activity in the default mode network have to do with the psychedelic experience? 